you need about this much clay that's going to fit in your hand. Don't make it too big. I'm going to take some off because otherwise you're going to get a monster. We want a cup to be fairly long, narrow, and not too heavy because you're going to put uh, something in it. I can drink from it, hopefully. Okay, so again, you start with your clay in the middle of the bat. Make sure you pound it down. You're going to start tapping on your left hand. Your left hand, your knee is going to be, your elbow is going to be uh, raised against your knee. I don't know why I'll say that backwards. So just let it tap against this hand and bring this hand down and increase your speed and you'll find it comes to center. Start pretty low like this and it should work, okay? A little bit of water, push with this hand, pull with this hand, lock your thumbs and we're coning it, okay? If it gets hollow in there, push it back down. Don't leave a bubble though because that'll fill with water. Cone it maybe once or twice at least and you're on your way. I'm not going to spend a long time centering because we've done that in other demos. Okay. If the bat chatters like that, sometimes you can add a piece of clay underneath and uh, that will make suction. So it won't bother you so much. Some of the bats are wearing out. Okay. The holes are getting big. So then I'm going to now that it's centered, I'm going to open. I just put my thumbs in. I drill down a little bit, not very far, and pull open, and then compress. I'm going to compress the inside. Notice I don't want a very big center because I'm going to make it long, tall, and not very wide inside. Just smooth it over. Okay, clean it up. Now I'm going to slow down, and I'm going to start pulling the wall. My right fingers go here, whatever your dominant hand is. It's a little off center right now, but we're going to pull it up and it'll be okay. Put my other hand there and I'm going to pull straight up. I'm going to let go at the top. If I get that little bit of clay on the top, it's okay. I'm going to compress it. I've got this extra bit of clay here, so I'm going to dig that out either with my stick tool with this end or a finger. Now I can put my fingers in there to pull and I'm pulling straight up. My fingers are equally pressing it in from the outside and the inside so I'm getting the cylinder. I don't have a very big base so it's coming up tall. I like to pull with a sponge. And so you can see it doesn't take very long once you get the hang of it. It goes straight up. I'm going to slow down a little bit. You know, play around with the speed that you're most comfortable with. You can give it some shape, make it flare out or you can pinch it from the outside like this. We'll talk more about this when we do vases. That's called choking to make it come in. Make sure it's not too wet in the bottom. Get some of that extra clay to come up. And you're just about done. There's just a couple things I want to go over. One is trimming the top with a pin so it's flat. You can put it. Again, I'm going to run my left hand here, join my thumbs, and put my finger in just like that should be doing this to many of your projects so they have a flat lip so when I can foot them they'll be good okay now I want to go over this part how do I get rid of that fat I take this stick tool remember you hold it like a pencil and stick it in I'm bracing my wrist stop the wheel pin goes around once off that goes and this goes in like that okay then I'm going to shave it just a little bit more. Now to make this easier to cut off with this string tool, one thing you can do if, if you have a sharp stick, take it in and cut a little bit more. Just a little bit more undercutting. And that way when I take my string, it's going to come off more easily. Does anyone? I don't have my string tool. Someone took it. Is there a string tool lying around? Anyone got one? I want to just put some water on here. And then um, I can take the string and cut it through, and then you can actually just pick it up if you're good. Otherwise, I would just leave it down. But what's going to be good about this is when I make this cut, you can turn it a little bit. Because I've undercut it a little bit, you can see it's a better cut. It's pretty flat. And if you want, you can pick it up and put it on another bat if you're advanced. Okay?
that's it. Okay, let's go make the handle.